Well, I just think it's always fun to have such success with your good friends around you. Um, Celine and I, I feel like we're sisters. Yeah, I've been on team since we were in Young Riders. Yeah, since the, actually the very first Young Riders I ever went to, I was Selena's groom. Yeah. And yeah, we'd never met before. I don't know. What year was that? 897. It was bef- yeah. Yeah, somewhere around there. It was crazy. Um, <laughs> And then galloping side by side at the That's end fun. was awesome. It just took me right back. Because we wanted a picture back. of our Pan Am horses together. Yep. How many times have you been on teams together? Three or four. Yeah. We were young riders twice. We did. You did, You actually did the one star the year I did the two star, I think, or yep. something like that. Yep. And then we did Pan Ams together. Yep. But I'm pretty sure that in and general wags. we've done lots of camps. Yeah, and we did WAGs. Yep. Yeah. So three at least. Changing horses, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I, uh, I'm i really happy because originally in 2008, David said you need a bunch of horses to get experience on. And uh, people uh, wonder why I struggle on with solo, but um, I need the experience. And he's a fantastic jumper. And his dress, I was just 20 points ahead of last year. And Woody, um, I've just been ticking along with. I didn't want to push him through the levels. He's still quite young and green. And uh, I think it was appropriate. And I feel like he's got, he's very, very confident in all three phases now. And uh, Rocky is new to me. I've had him just over a year. Um, he had uh, an impeccable career before. He had some uh, fitness issues. He had been working on those. And this weekend was a great test of that. And he tries his guts out in all three phases. So I'm really happy to have him. And why did you bring them all here? I need to qualify for Rolex. They're, uh, they weren't, I, I couldn't uh, qualify for Rolex this year on solo, which I would have liked to. And even if I had on Woody, I wouldn't have taken him. He's too young. And Rocky's brand new to me, and this is only his, he, I don't even know if he's done a real CCI three-star with his previous rider. So, uh, My mum owns Bellany Rock and a First Romance, and John Rumble and Judy Rumble own Foxwood High. Oh, Roddy baby. Um, he's an incredible horse. He truly is like a once-in-a-lifetime horse. He's such a showman. Um, I love going all three phases on him. He's just such a competitor, and he's... I mean, he truly does know the difference between all three days. And I was so proud of the way he jumped in here today. He just tried his heart out for me, and I just love him. He's he's amazing. He could be a Grand Prix dress he, outdoor show jumping. Yeah, event yeah he's incredible. We're uh, extremely lucky to have Don Good as his owner. And um, I'm just so thankful that I have the ride on that horse and that we have him for our Canadian team. It's really exciciting. Uh, absolutely. I think it's actually... Just what Selena said um, in 2008, David had said, like, you guys need to have six advanced horses underneath of you. And we all kind of looked at each other like, that ain't happening. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then, uh, but here we are. And it really, it feels like there's a group of us riders that are really getting horses underneath of us. And, and owners like the Rumbles as well. And, and done good. amazing owners, which is what actually drives it and um, allows us to keep these horses under us. Um, and I think... Uh, with having Clayton Fredericks as our team coach, we're all getting really comfortable with him. Yeah. And he's just been fantastic for our team, and I'm really excited to move forward into the future with him. Me too. And what do you think of uh, our program in general? Like, for example, you guys are, are fairly young, but you're like the veterans of, of the <laughs> team. So how, how do we ensure that... Uh, well, we've got our young riders coach right here, and uh, <laughs> she's the best in uh, Canada, so who else could you have but leading uh, the people who are going to follow in our footsteps? Also, the level of um, the experience you get from riding multiple horses, you can pass on. You haven't just done the course once on your one horse. You've done the course, you know, three times or two times or whatever, and you can pass that knowledge on to people quicker. And also uh, great coaching like David and Clayton. And now we're getting some real international, you know, uh, world-renowned medalists who are coaching us. We're going to clinics and having the chance to uh, travel to Europe and stuff like that and hear other people's lessons and see other top riders like William Fox Pit Ride. We can take that all home and pass it along to the people that are up and coming. Absolutely. I think we're really confident in each other. Oh, yeah. Like, cer have, certainly when I, I mean, look around the ring and I see Selena's face and Kyle's face yeah. and Holly's face and Rebecca's yeah. face. and We know each other really well now, so yeah. we're a good team regardless of whether our coaches switch places. And we're so lucky that uh, our chef to keep Graham and our vet, Dr. Ober, stuck with us because it yep. feels like they believe in us. And it. I think it makes other people believe. I think if everybody had left at the same time, we would have stuck together. But maybe some other people would have seen that as well. Everybody kind of left them 
um, we would have been strong, but maybe our sponsors wouldn't have been as strong. I think that really shows something for how much they like us, as much as we appreciate them, uh, to stick with it and shows, you know, strength and uh, encourages other people to stick with us and keep backing us and hopefully keep going forward. Absolutely. Um, I want world to domination? <laughs> You're going to take over the world. Uh, I wanted to get this done and uh, they're all pretty green and I've only ever had Colombo at this level so I'm also green and I will probably take all three um, of them to Fair Hill as a prep for Rolex next spring and the plan is to take them all to Rolex. That's exhausting. Have you seen this girl? Look at her. She's like the iron horse. Unbelievable. Hey, if Philip can do it, I can do it. She gets her protein through nuts. <laughs> okay, um, so hopefully we'll be taking Pavarotti and Erodium to Blenheim. Um, so they would potentially be doing the CIC three-star event uh, the week after the test event at the same venue. And then two weeks later doing Blenheim.